This is Jean-Marie Pfaff. And was given a good reception by the Everton faithful. Everton still with an unchanged side, seven of whom played in the Cup Winners' Cup match between these two sides on this ground back in 85, when Everton came from one down to win 3-1. Everton, in fact, have brought on Wilson, as we saw there. Harper. Oh. A little bit of fortune for the goalkeeper, but there wasn't a second touch. Sheedy. It's interesting that we're going to see... Uh, both Wilson and Sheedy in the same side together. Wilson was the player who replaced Sheedy during his injured spell and did well. And the man that Sheedy is now replaces Peter Reed, the player coach, is sitting out the second half. Up. Snowden. Forced the turn by Matthias. That's well played. Watson. The goalkeeper struggling. Heath. Wide. But Alman really didn't have the physical presence that uh, Bayern usually get from Faf. certainly didn't look too good with Watson's challenge he hit it cleanly but pulled it wide and really a very disappointing attendance about which a few questions will be asked no doubt well, the cutting edge may not be at its sharpest and one really couldn't expect that it would be but the match nicely poised Everton just with the one goal advantage at 2-1 Free kick against Kogel for the little push. Snowden. Sheedy. Matthias. His experience international on the Bayern side. 55 caps he's got. This is Hughes. 17 for Wales. One goal tonight, and a really nice run in the box that was, wide by Bremer. Shot really beaten away by Neville Saffel, and it was a good run, inside and outside, left Gary Stevens cleanly. by Flick. And then how? Lack of concentration by Bayern. Sheedy. Knocked by the spare man coming to him. Ratcliffe. Wilson. That's got him in. They're queuing up in the middle. Sharp. Watson. Snowden really struck it well because it didn't quite come to him as he wanted and it was reflected for the corner but uh, Dave Watson spun like a top in, in the arcade Sharp had plenty of time for the header really well hit by Snowden and went off the defender who knew nothing about it for the corner and a little bit of elbows going on 
sharp and flick. Algantala so coolly away. Brave attempt though by uh, Heath, I think it was. Increasing pressure from Everton. Harper, Snowden, Wilson. We've had an hour of the contest. 2-1 the score to Everton. Heath, it's still 2-1. Yes, he kept it in. Argentala. Come to be seen by Nakfai. That's a good ball. And very well killed with the chest. Good quality stuff being played. That's a great cross. Oh, it was a marvellous cross by Kogel. Deserved a finish, and it was Macfire who couldn't provide it, but it beat Southall. Offside against Harper. But that's as good a cross as you'll ever see, really hanging in the air, got a slight deflection which helped it. But nothing came from it. And the chance for a substitution. And it's the skipper who's coming off. And his captain's band to Matthias. Shakes hands with the referee. Acts entirely in character. And he's to be replaced by a familiar face. But it's not Karl Heinz, it's Michael Rummenigge. Karl Heinz these days, of course, in Italy. And uh, the coach on the left as we look, Jupp Heinkes former coach at Bristol Munching Club back for whom we played for so many years with distinction. And Stieter Flick again. Rubenegger. And just a little bit of trouble between Snowden and Nakvai, but play continues. Kogel, Bearschmidt, yes, Hughes again, two to Sharp, two to Hughes. Well, Kogel was involved in it, a lovely cross by Bearschmidt, Hughes supplying the Sharp finish, but he'd gone too soon and has been given offside. Harper. Wilson. Sheedy makes the forward run on the left. Natvai is committed to come across. Two in the middle, now three against two in the middle. It's academic. But into the last quarter of an hour. Sheedy, well out by Flick. Hughes, offside. Against Winkelhofer. Sharp. Flick lost him. that Hans Dieter Flick has, has done himself too much good in trying to get a place in the first choice defence. Sharp wide. It's 
too strong. Sharp. Wilson. Well, they've come back strongly, Everton. The challenge, corner. Escaping when Hughes' goal was wiped out. Seems to have lifted the home side. Sharp and Adams on the near post. Sharp and Flick. Having a little dodge around yet again. Alman looks awful in the air. And it finally is put home by Heath. But the goalkeeper, I'm afraid, has to accept a lot of the blame for that. Really did flap at the ball as it came over. And Heath, in spite of the men on the line, The score is now precisely that, which took Everton through to the final of the Cup Winners' Cup against the side on this ground after a nil-nil result in uh, Munich. No Football League side has been in Europe since. chasing Schmidt. Flick <laughs> gets away with the error. to see him score. Free kick is against Watson. Rumenegger. Finkelhofer. Small crowd on a cold night. And judging by the reaction, they've enjoyed the entertainment. And I think on such an occasion, it's only right that the victory in the Mercantile Credit Centenary Classic Challenge should go to the Football League champions, Everton. And it does so deservedly by three goals to one. Two by Sharp, one in the second half by Heath. The Hughes scoring for the opposition. So there will be a certain feeling that all the goals have been scored by players that we like to think are players from home.